Hi, Erica and Cassie. I wanted to share with you currently the progress on the purchase order approval form. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create three different purchase orders um, for the three different tiers that was requested. So I'm going to go ahead and pick, um, let's do offer contractors. All right, make this. Okay. Location. Let's say Bakersfield. And then pick a unit. All right. And then let me go ahead and say this guy. I'm going to do. So this is under the 50,000K marker. Once I hit save, you can see we can go ahead and hit receive, right? Because it's under 50,000, so it's automatically approved. And um, let me show that to you. This is under, under 50,000, it was automatically approved. Before this, it was approval status pending approval. And so now we hit receive. We can hit save, right? And then we can jump, go ahead and jump into the AP role. Let me do before this happened. And this will have the ability to approve or reject. And once they have, it's already been approved. Good. It has to be approved in order for them to receive it, but now they can approve it. Now let's can approve it and then go ahead and build it. Right. So that is the under 50,000 K marker, the most simplest process. Now let's go ahead and do for, right. Um, so this is quick. It's easier just to go and make a copy. You see how the approval status is automatically pending approval, but still under the 50K marker. So, so if I hit save right now, it'll be automatically approved, but we're gonna do the next tier, which was the, was the over 50,000, where it needs to go to the, oh, let's put 10,000 there goes to the regional managers, right? And it will, it is set up to, so it's 156,000, that's still too much. So it's 78,000, that's over the 50,000 K marker. I go ahead and hit save. We can go ahead and see that it is still pending approval. So it needs to be approved. They don't have the option to hit the receive button. And um, that's, and then I'm going to go ahead and make the copy for the over 100K. Just to move along the process. Hit save. And again, it's pending approval. At this time, you, we would have to jump over to uh, another role, right? Because um, based off Robert Wolf's descriptions, if it's over $50,000, but under $100,000, it's supposed to go to the regional managers, right? That would be Vale and uh, William Wright, I believe. And then if it's over $100,000, it needs to go to George Moore, or Robert Wolf for approval, right? So in order for me to test this transaction, I had to use other, I had to use other logins. So let me go ahead and jump into my other login. So the other one I used was a personal email, right? And if we go into these transactions, we can see here, Oh, this has been approved already. So it's P05. Oh, 
So this is so currently Bruce Wolf would be like the regional manager, and they would have the approval to approve the under fifty over fifty k, but under one hundred, right? So once they hit approve, now they'll be able to receive it, right? And they can go ahead and hit receive, save this whole purchase order process, the item receipt, save it, right? But if we were to look that if it's over 100,000, the regional manager does not have those buttons. We would have to go ahead and jump into the a login that's similar to Robert Wolf's or George Moore's. And I used another work email address. We can see here. And we would jump into And you can see that this this permission level, they do have they do have uh, permission to do it. And we go ahead and hit approve here, and then we can hit the receive process and save. Now the next process, the next step in the process would be um, Melissa, the the person in the AP role. So let me go back to my work one. And I'll jump into the AP role as we see here. And if we go over to the O114. You can see this has been fully billed, right? So we've done that already. But let's go to that's the one we did in the very beginning of the meeting of the video. Let me go over to the 115. We can see we have the approve option, the reject option, so they can approve it now and then bill it. All right. And then we can go and do the 116. We can do the same here. We can approve it or reject it, approve, and then bill. So the items that, let me go ahead and finish this process. The items that I'm currently working on um, is setting up the reject automation features and exactly what would need to happen with them. So I'm actually going to show you the workflow that I have set up just so um, you can see essentially what I've been working on. There we go. And you see, this is the workflow I've been working on. So it's essentially set up that uh, if it's under fifty thousand, so if it's under fifty thousand, it it gets automatically approved to the warehouse, and then goes to accounting approval. So if it's under fifty thousand, it goes all the way down uh, here, here to approval, and move to accounting approval. If it's uh, over 50,000, it goes to the regional approval. And then once they approve it, it will go back down to the warehouse approval, which will eventually go to the accounting approval. And then if it's over 100,000, it goes to the manager approval. And how I've set it up currently based on these approvals is that the approve button only shows up for Vale Angel, William Wright, Robert Wolf, George Moore, Bruce and Bruce Bain, or I have a currently set up that anyone that has the user role, the, the user role administrator. The next one, I have it set up that the approve and reject buttons only show up for George Moore, Robert with Bruce Bain, or anyone that has the user role. Bruce Bain is the role that I created specifically. And then the accounting approval I have that the reject, the approve and the reject buttons open up for the administration, accounting manager, control, administrator role, the county manager role, the controller role, the purchasing role, and the senior accountant role, right? And I have the same setup also for the reject. And um, what I am currently working on is the reject options, which means what would happen, an email would be sent out, what would it look like, and any details involving that. Um, I hope this video is well received uh, and makes sense and it was clear. 
uh, I'll be more than happy to set up a meeting with you uh, anytime soon. And uh, I'll leave more information in the email as well. Thank you.